Hi there. I just wanted to explain a few things about this time lab before you start. This time lab is something to kind of start us thinking about how we're going to be testing real life things and it's a way for you to design your own lab as well. So what you're going to be testing is you're going to be testing reaction time. So if you have a, a stopwatch and you're timing something, even though it says that once you start and stop something, it's accurate to a degree of point something something. That doesn't mean that it's actually ac that that time that you've measured is actually that accurate. So I want to get to the point. I, I want you to to decide what the uncertainty is when you're measuring something occurring. Uh, so what I want you to do is I want you to brainstorm a plan for how inaccurate a stopwatch reading really is. So you get to decide how you're going to set up that experiment yourself. Um, there are some online resources where you can do that as well, or they give you examples of how they might set it up as well. Um, but you're, uh, you're on your own. I suggest doing it on your own. Think of your own procedure before you get started. Uh, then you're going to carry out the experiment. You're going to write down all the data and you're going to then report a, a, a video of yourself reporting the, the findings. So you'll be saying, this is what I found. I think that the uncertainty for a stopwatch is plus or minus so many seconds or point so many seconds. Uh, I'll just give you an example. From my class last year, we found that uh, our stopwatch readings were accurate to a degree of plus or minus 0.15 seconds. Uh, but that was them. It can be different for you. So I want you to, to argue for why you think that that uncertainty is true for uh, the stopwatch recording in that little presentation. So you're going to be using data for that, and you're going to be explaining your procedure for that. Then, uh, after you've uploaded that video to Canvas, you're going to then look at the other recordings from other students, um, and you're going to also um, you're also going to talk to each other on the discussion board on Canvas to decide which which person's um, uncertainty is the right uncertainty that we should be using for this class. We need to come to consensus. We have to believe. We have to come to some agreement uh, upon which uncertainty is the one that we're going to be using through all of our experiments this year when we're using stopwatches. So after you've done all of that, after you've joined the discussion on Canvas, and after you've recorded your video and uploaded that on Canvas, then you're going to be going back to your lab report, and you're going to be going through all the sections of the lab report, the journal, you'll be writing that, the data and the interpretation section, you'll be writing that, and then finally the evaluation, which will include what you think of other people's presentations, other people's um, arguments for their uh, uncertainty. And you're basically going to be saying, if you could do this experiment again, on your own, what would you do differently? So take a look at the instructions, but I thought that it would be good for me to give you a verbal instruction of what we're going to be doing for this lab. Um, you're going to be graded on your design and thoughtfulness. You're going to be graded on your clarity and your completeness. You're going to be uh, graded on your persuasiveness. And finally, you're going to be graded on your evaluation. And all of those are, are fleshed out in more detail in the uh, written, uh, written instructions. So good luck with that, and please let me know if you have any questions about what's going on here, because I know it can be confusing for the first lab. Every teacher has a different way of grading labs, but this is how we're going to be grading labs. Every single lab is going to be the same way, the same kind of format for the formal lab. So hopefully that makes sense. Uh, and if it doesn't, please let me know, and I can record one of these again, or we can, we can have a Skype conversation or just a, an audio conversation. That's fine just so we can clear up anything that we, uh, we might have as a question. Okay, so good luck, and uh, I hope to see your lab soon.